Hello my friends, welcome to my review of the August BoxyCharm. Now I got a little bit of flag for last month because I didn't like it like at all and a couple of you were like, oh my gosh, that was an amazing box. You know, why don't you like it? I didn't like it because it, it didn't meet my personal preference needs. I could understand why it would have been a great box for other people, but it just wasn't a good box for me personally. So I'm hoping that this boxy charm will be better than that one for me. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And the first thing I see is the card and the card is called Beach Babe. And then it's got all of the products on the back and it looks like we got one one, two, three, four, five products this month. I only see four products though. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, we'll we'll get there when we when we get there. So the first thing I'm seeing very gigantic is the Model Co. Cheek and Lips Cheek and Lip Tint in rosy red. Now we did just get a Elizabeth Mott cheek tint in the July Ipsy bag which I really, really like that cheek tint a lot. This is very interesting. This is, looks almost like an OCC lip tar. Ooh, comes out kind of like a gel. Let me zoom in so you can see. Looks like blood. Not nearly as pigmented that as I thought it would be. Where did it go? It's gone. Where did it go? Hello? Anybody home? Cheek tints, where are you? Oh my goodness, let's try. Let's see if I put a little more. It looked like blood. I thought it was going to be amazing. Look at this. What is that? Look, okay, there we go. Maybe it was just the initial. Okay, all right, that's better. Okay, I think it was just like the initial product coming out. Okay, I feel a little better. So we'll see about that. I mean, it definitely has a nice tint now that I've built it up a little bit. I think I just, maybe it was just the initial product coming out. Let's put a little more on, see if I can build it even more. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's building. That's kind of cool. Because the um the one the Staniac is not uh building. So this one builds, which is kind of cool. Neat. Ah, I'm bleeding from my fingertips. But beware. This is after using makeup remover. Got it mostly off here, but it is definitely on my fingers. Next thing I see is the Ofra eyeliner in black. And was it the Ofra one that we got? The lip pencil that was like super dry and dark the last month. I think it was, and I didn't like it. Uh, so I'm hoping this one will be creamier. Uh, this one is another wood pencil. Let's swatch. That feels pretty creamy. That actually feels really nice. Nice, cool. Well, I'm anxious to try this. I'm always looking for a pencil. Ah! Jumped out of my hands and like drew legs and jumped. I'm always looking for another um, pencil liner that'll be good in my waterline. So very excited about that. Okay, next I see Enter Ran Pranan? Pranan? It's in cursive. It's in this crazy cursive. It's really hard to read. P-R-A-N-A-U-N. -A -A Pranon. Pranon. Let me look here. Oh, enter pro now. Those are O's. <laughs> Blowtorch bronzer. Ooh, this is pretty packaging. Look at that. Ooh, fancy. This is very nice. Mmm, looks kind of orange. I don't know. Looks kind of orange. Looks pretty orange. I don't know. I'm going to have to try that and find out. Let's let's do a little brush swatch and see. I don't know. That might be workable. The brush swatch it looks a little bit better. Yeah, definitely looks better. Definitely looks better with the brush swatch. So, we will give it a try. Hmm, packaging's really cool. What's the shade in this? It just says bronze or blowtorch 01. Blowtorch 01 is the shade. Made in Italy. Ooh. Okay, very cool. So, so far, my friends, I am very happy with this box, for the record. Okay, and then the last thing, my fourth thing, because I think I'm missing the fifth thing, is by Tarina Tarantino and is a conditioning lip sheen in the color Floriculture. Mwah! Okay, all right, got it. Okay, so this is the most gorgeous packaging. Trina Tarantino has the most beautiful packaging. It's very heavy, like, heavy. Can I open it? Okay, there we go. 
And let's see this color. Ooh, that's dark. Ooh, that's really dark. Oh my goodness. Okay, but it says lip sheen, so let's see how sheeny it is. Hopefully it's not super pigmented, because if it is, I'm no, not going to wear it. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. Ooh. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to try this on. All right. That was the Sephora Matte Lip Cream that I just did a review on. Ooh. Yeah. Blech. Neutrogena wipes taste terrible. Mwah. Mwah. Interesting. I actually really like that a lot. What do you guys think of that? I'm looking in the monitor. I think it looks really nice. It's not super pigmented, but that's fine with me. I don't like super pigmented lip products, so... But it's dark enough. Like, it's got a nice pop of color without it being, like, too thick looking. Yes. I like it. Yay! I love it when I like things. It makes me so happy. So let's look and see because I'm missing a product. I do get this box for promotion, so of course I'm not going to complain that I didn't get one of the products. Um, I will let them know because I think they would probably want me to review it, but if I don't get it, that's perfectly okay. I got the Enter Pronoun Blowtorch Bronzer. I got the Trina Tarantino Conditioning Lip Sheen. Holy moly, the Blowtorch Bronzer is $35 and the Lip Sheen is $22. Model Code Cheek and Lips Lip Tint is $22. Holy moly! Morph Brushes Powder Brush. That is what I'm missing. Soft and silky great for applying the right amount of powder for a flawless finish. So I did not receive that, so I can't review it. I'm sorry. And then the Offer Cosmetics Eyeliner is $13. So this was a huge value box. Holy moly. So there isn't anything in here that I'm not excited about. I'm excited about the lip tint. I'm excited about the bronzer. I'm a little less excited about the eyeliner just because I just have a lot of black eyeliners at this point. Having a makeup review channel, you just buy a lot of stuff. And you get I get a lot of subscription boxes. You know, I've bought a lot of subscription boxes. I've had things sent to me. So I just have a lot of black eyeliners, but I've never tried to offer an eyeliner, I don't believe. So excited to try it, but it's probably the least exciting thing on the box for me. And then the Trina Tarantino lip product I'm very excited about. So overall, I think this box is a huge win. I, I love BoxyCharm. It is pretty consistently an amazing box. Um, uh, you know, we had a miss last month, but I think there's been two misses this year. So out of eight months, there's been two that I wasn't a big fan of. So I think that's really great uh, ratio there. I think BoxyCharm is a fantastic subscription, especially for $21 a month, uh, including shipping. So... Hopefully they will open up their shipping to Canada soon. I know there's a lot of Canadian people out there that would love to try BoxyCharm. So hopefully they'll be able to open that up now that their company is growing. It's in the suggestion box, I promise. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'd love to know what you thought of your BoxyCharm, what you thought of this BoxyCharm, um, and what you thought of these products. If you think they're things that you would use. We're all going to have a great conversation down below. I'm going to be down there chatting it up with everybody. So come and join our conversation. Meet a friend. And thank you so much for watching mad love and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!